G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. It's a bit of a grey morning, we might get some rain later but hopefully we are. We get some good shell finds before then. Anyway, I've been walking for about oh, five minutes, didn't think there was very much around but uh, yeah, there we go, got this guy. We are starting off with a lovely jeweled dog whelk. That didn't take long, here we go. First moon snail of the day. Bit of a chip out of him, but I'll keep him for good luck. Got myself a lovely gray green bladder moon snail. Oh, okay, there's a few shells over here. First of all, yes, gonna take the uh, yellow bladder moon snail. He's a nice size, bit of an average size, but he's still nice. Do I want this guy? It's just half of a pill arc. I usually take them when they're joined, but this one's kind of nice because I like the color on top. And before I crouched down, oh, there it is. I lost sight of it. Here we go. Got myself a little, um, oh, this one was the Linnean, like, because it's like got some linear patterns on it. The uh, Linnean sand snail or moon snail. And I'm also going to pick up this guy. Wow, he's got some incrustation. I'll have to knock that off at home. It is a lovely large blackish marguerite. I have a little patch of moon snails right here. Got myself another bladder moon snail. Yet another bladder moon snail. There is a nice conical moon snail right here. Look at him with that black swirl. The conical moon snails are lovely and brown, while the uh, sorted moon snails, oh, stretch. I like a purple or a maroon or something like that, or a gray color. He's very nice, little uh, sorted moon snail. And this guy is just staring at me. Is he whole? He is whole, look at him. It is a Haynes turban that's turned black from shell oxidization. He's very cool as well. Oh, forgive that wind, it has just picked up. Anyway, got myself another sorted moon snail. He's got like a, something trying to drill into him right there. There's like a half of a predator drill hole. Anyway, he's lovely and glossy with a whole lip. I reckon he can uh, come with us as well. Ooh, I really see these. Oh, he's whole as well, look at him. This guy is the acorn dog whelk. I always get them mixed up with the acorn dog whelk and the channel dog whelk. Um, yeah, pretty sure this is the acorn dog whelk. Wow, I just love his textures on him. He's got kind of stripes. He's got a nice tip. Okay, and an almost whole lip. Okay, that is another great little shell for the bucket. Look at this guy just hiding. Um, ew, I don't know what that is. Just hiding in like the seaweedy stuff. Oh, I wasn't sure if he'd be whole or not. Yeah, he's very whole. It is the first scary murex today. Slightly frilly still as well. I cannot believe how many, oh, he's nice. Look at all of his colors. I can't believe how many sorted moon snails are over on this side of the beach. Um, This is the opposite direction of which I traveled last time I was here. So I didn't obviously pick up any of these last time. Uh, anyway, yeah, I've been slipping a lot of sorted moon snails into my bucket already. I am actually really liking all of the debris that's up here today because it's sneaking in some very interesting things into it. Um, Whoa, he's got colors on top. I looked at the bottom, I thought, okay, it's just gonna be a faded little baby bailer. Oh, look at the pretty colors on him, everyone. This guy is a little baler shell. These guys can grow quite large, like, I don't know, like a foot long or more. Like, they get very large. This is just a little one. They are technically a type of volute shell. That's why you sometimes see them also called the diadem volute. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he looks sun bleached, but on top? I mean, he's still sun bleached on top, but they always are. Hello, good sir. This is a land snail. Yes, they're always a bit sun bleached when they're on the beach because they're supposed to be like not on the beach. They're supposed to be in the bush. They're a land snail. This one is the Bigandin banded sand snail. Oh, sorry, land snail. Uh, Bigandin is in the name of a town kind of close to here, which is what they're named after. Oh, is this one going to be pretty? It's... I mean, it's not bad. Hold on, let me just like brush it off onto my uh, onto my shorts. There we go. Got myself a nice uh, curved half of a commercial scallop. Wow, he's got like a black line through him right there. Well, I was just starting to knock this to the side when I stopped because um, there's obviously a, a lovely uh, jeweled dog whelk right here. Wow, he actually is lovely. Got very nice, like clear color on him. They usually discolor quite quickly from here. Also, there is a very nice sorted moon snail. I've been shoving a whole bunch of these into my bucket so far. There we go. Lovely sorted moon snail. There's actually a lot of moon snails. There we go. There's another bladder moon snail. Oh, you know what? I might take this guy if he's not gross inside. Got myself a lovely, I discovered uh, since my last video that these ones are probably called an antiquated surf clam. I'm gonna take him as well. And my goodness, there is a lot. Another bladder moon snail. Oh, another baler shell. Yeah, he's whole as well. 
He's uh, more typical uh, to what I usually see here with, uh, without any colours left on him. They usually lose their patterning quite quickly on this beach, I think because of the harsh sunlight. Wow, look at him. He is like um, on the larger side for what I usually find. Here we go. It is yet another baler shell. Holy guacamole, Batman. This one's even starting to grow his little spikes. He has turned black from shell oxidization, as you can see here. Um, some people say that you can remove the, uh, the black oxidization with bleach. I've never had any luck with it. The black just still stays there but still that is a very lovely shell to uh, collect today I'm not actually sure how many of these shells I'm gonna collect today I'm kind of on the wrong side of the beach for it anyway got myself a lovely little Flinders Venus right there okay okay everyone multiple goodies starting off with oh my goodness he is as frilly as I hoped he would be he is very frilly on that top I think he's like didn't grow his frills on that side yet he is a cutie patootie little scary murex here his opening didn't quite grow wholly either so he was still like uh in the stage of growing up there we go I also just saw this guy oh let me squeeze forward a bit yes he is a little bit like yeah he's just a little bit small he's a little bit uh unhinged it is a beautiful little lamellate venus oh my good golly goodness and you know what i am going to look at this guy it looks like he's got an oyster on him oh he's got quite a few oysters on him it is yet another frilly scary murex with um a whole bunch of oh sorry they're not oysters they're um bottom halves of pacific jewel boxes i am going to knock those off because i think you look quite nice without them Oh, look at him, he is quite large. Yeah, and he is almost all intact. There's just like the tiniest bit off his lip. That is a nice, big, but slightly faded calf moon snail. Well, I have been mm, sneaky, sneaky collecting yet more sorted moon snails. There's quite a lot on the beach here right now. Um, I almost like did not see him because he is like locked in the sand. Are you like, oh, he's whole. <laughs> oh my goodness, I might have to wash him out. He actually looks very nice. He's got like a nice dark pattern on him. Hold on. There we go. Yes. Okay. I think he's suitably nice. Once again, he has turned a bit black from shell oxidization. Wow, that water is cool today. But uh, yeah, it's oh, that was a little bit close. It is a lovely Campbell Strombus. Why not? Let's pick up this guy. Uh, he looks nice and whole anyway. It is an Australian jingle. They always grow with kind of these very funky shapes. They're not just like all round or all oval. They're kind of like, uh, yeah, just very odd. And yes, I have also been picking up a lot of bladder moon snails off camera as well. Here we go. Oh, he's actually very nice. He's got a bit of yellow right there. Ooh, I can already see this one's color on the inside. On the top, oh my goodness, he's actually quite lovely on the top. Um, These guys can have a very dark color. It is another calf moon snail. Yes, turn black from sitting in black sand right there. They usually uh, fade to a very light cream color very, very quickly. This one's still got most of his color on top. It's very nice, like a, like a dark peachy orange color. There we go. How do you look? I think think it's nice again very discolored and black that they should usually be a, a definite not black color anyway it is another curved half of a commercial scallop I came over because I'm like oh that one's got a perfect lip on it I nearly missed him look at him it's another Baylor shell and he's even got some nice patterns on him and a perfect lip okay yeah little baby Baylor luck they're everywhere this morning I mean yes this is the part of the beach that I didn't check last time it's certainly paying off for me anyway let's check out the uh bladder moons now there we go got myself another lovely gray green blue eyed bladder moon snail you know, I have started to like these a little bit more. Um, I don't know why I didn't really like them to begin with. Anyway, it is a cockle shell with little spines on the uh, on the back of it. It is a multi-spined cockle. And uh, what do we have here? We've got ourselves, yeah, it looks like a leafy oyster. It's been a while since I found a leafy oyster from here. Last time I was here, I found a bunch of uh, scaly scallops on the other side of the beach, but I'm struggling to find any today. Here we go, the first scaly scallop is this guy. Well, I popped down because I'm like, oh, look, it's one of these things, which I never remember the name of. It's just a very large Venus shell. And then I noticed this one as well. Yeah, well, he's no good. <laughs> Actually, the one I really, really noticed was this guy just hiding up there. My goodness, look at the patterns on him. Yes, I'm definitely going to knock off that uh, piece of a Pacific jewel box when I get home because look, he's got lovely uh, dark maroon patterns. They actually look like zigzags. This guy is an Indo-Pacific arc shell, the, uh, the so-called turkey wing.
So freaking sneaky. Is it a whole one? I don't know if it's a whole one. It's it's um it's pretty broken, not gonna lie. Will that snap off? Yeah, that that will snap off. <laughs> it was ready to go, everyone. It is uh probably one that'll stay behind for someone else. Look at that in there. I didn't see that one. Let me just uh, get some of these out of the way. Yeah, he is nice and large. Still got some colour, although it's probably been changed because of the mangroves. Got myself a lovely splendid top shell right there. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, he's nice. Oh, he's very, very nice. I have actually been picking up a few uh, curved halves of the commercial scallops off camera as well. You know, I think that's probably one of the nicest ones. I just like the color of this guy. Another land snail. There's been a lot this morning. Oh, he's got most of his color. I mean, not he's got like nowhere near most of his color, but more than usual, although that could be because he's wet. A wet shell usually looks more vibrant than the dry one. It is yet another big and in banded sand or land snail. I don't know why I keep doing that. I am doing well for the murexes as well. Look at this guy. It is yet another lovely, scary murex. Also, if I'm like extra jittery today, it's because I had like an extra large coffee for breakfast. <laughs> Oh, I think this one will be, have a nice reveal. Oh, it is nice. Ooh, yes, more purple, more red, more white. Okay, we'll take him as well. Aha, oh, finally, one of these to go with all the commercial scallop halves. I mean, yeah, he looks all right. I don't think he looks like too faded. Okay, maybe a bit faded. It is the flat half of a commercial scallop. They have a flat half and a curved half. So finally, after like, I don't know, like 10 curved halves, we have... We have a flat and also I did pick up another flat off camera but it's like it's like mmm oh my goodness I'm just having like a whole heap of murex luck today there we go that must be like the third or fourth very nice scary murex oh my goodness oh I can already tell there is a lot of land snails in this episode look at him I mean yes once again a little bit faded but <laughs> once again they always are from here I absolutely love these guys um when they're not faded those are uh, reddish bits are like a darker brown and those white bits are like a deeper cream color anyway yeah another absolutely lovely bigenden band snail it's right in the tree roots can you see it back there please nothing kill me oh this one yeah Ooh, I think that was off camera oh well um anyway I have for myself a joined I mean oh it's still joined <laughs> a joined Indo-Pacific arc shell I think he needs a bit of a clean out in the center there because I don't know if that's like sand or something else anyway that is very cool I think it'll clean up very nicely Oh, I think I'm going to pick this one up. Even though he looks kind of rough, it looks like he's a bit kind of funny on that last section right there. It is a Hanes turban shell. And the reason he's so funny right there is because some kind of oyster obviously grew in his shell. So when the snail got to that point, he had to kind of like, I don't know, get creative with how to grow his shell around it. Here we go, got myself a little half cockle shell. Sometimes also called a half heart cockle. Oh, <laughs> Baylor Day! Is he whole on the bottom? Oh, he's got a big crack in the side. Let's take a look. Ooh, he he's whole, everyone! I mean, okay, as whole as he can be with, like, you know, pittings with age right there, spiderweb cracks and whatnot. He's got some nice spikes, though. It is a pretty decently sized uh, Baylor shell. I mean, yes, he is in pretty poor condition, but I'm going to take him anyway because I do not find very many big ones, or at least as big as this that is a very very nice size obviously they can still get like multiple times larger uh, as an adult but yeah that is very very nice oh my goodness oh look at him hiding under there that is a big one everyone whoa he is big and whole oh my goodness that's not going into the chaos bucket oh he's got a little crack right there never mind i still like him though my goodness it is a moon snail i think it is the uh, black-mouthed moon snail. I don't know if that's right or not. That is a very nice large one, too. Well, I nearly wasn't going to look under the tree. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that to not have a hole right there. Um, mostly because I keep hitting my head on the branches. My, uh, big broad brim hat makes it hard to see what's in front of me sometimes or above me. Anyway, just got myself a lovely long-tailed spindle from under here. How about that? Oh, we can't have a shelling adventure in Harvey Bay without grabbing one of these. Here we go. It is a lovely propeller arc shell. He is like extremely wide. I dare say that he has been up here for a while, just like sun bleaching in the in, on the sand. Okay, that is a decently large calorie for here. Yep, this one is very faded. You can't really find good calories on the beaches around here. Um, but this is a species that's really only on the mud flats. Most of the other calories live in the uh, the rock pools or the reefs. This one is the green tinted calorie. Yes, he has 
been up here for several weeks as well, I'd guess. Well, hello, hello, would you look at that? Um, yes, that, oh, <laughs> his joint came apart right away. I, he's gonna need a bit of cleanup on this guy. He's got some, uh, some oyster bits on him. I don't think any of them are alive though. I even saw a barnacle on him, but I think the barnacle was also not alive. Yeah, it's an empty barnacle. Got myself two paired halves of a, of an Indo-Pacific arc shell right there. I was about to say turkey wing. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, is he missing the tip? He is sort of missing the tip. Oh no, it is a little dark dog whelk though. He's very cute. One of these shells was the favorite last time I was at Harvey Bay. Oh, let's take a look at the Haynes turban. Oh, he's okay. Actually, yeah, I think he's more than okay. He's a very dark color. Um, these little like uh, white incrustations knock off pretty easily. I think he's gonna look very nice under that. All right, we'll take him. And you know what? I'm gonna take this guy as well because I haven't found very many of them today. Or at least not very many with uh, patterns still on them. It is another Campbell's Strombus. Oh, look at this, sir. Hello. Yeah, it's empty, my goodness. This is a mangrove whelk. I mean, so I'm sorry, it's a giant mangrove whelk. I was expecting to find them like, all the way up there where the mangroves are. I was not expecting to see it all the way back here already. Okay, we'll uh, take this one as well. Oh my goodness, that is a lot more than I was expecting. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. If I sound excited, it's because I am. Look at all the lovely seashells today. And of course, it is time to talk about a favorite now. So if you do have a favorite shell, please let me know down in the comments. I found so many amazing shells today. I didn't even reach the mangroves yet. I got a whole bunch of commercial scallops, some extremely lovely turkey wings. My goodness, I got two joined pairs right there. Very nice. I got a lot of baler shells, my goodness. A couple of moon snails as well, a couple of land snails, some jingles, some murexes. Oh my goodness, it was a bit of everything. Um, But you know what? I do want to give some special mentions and the first and biggest special mention goes to this big, mostly intact baler shell. I'm feeling super inspired to get the paint pens out on this guy. Don't know what I'm going to do. So uh, if you've got some inspiration about what I should draw on this guy to turn it into a work of art instead of just a broken shell, please let me know once again in the comments. I also want to give a special mention to the lovely Murexes. I don't think any of them are my favorites today, but they are all absolutely stunning. You know what? I might give one more special mention to the big white sand snail. He would have been a favorite if not for that teeny hole there. He might still be a favorite because wow, I really, really like this guy. But as for my overall favorite, you know what guys, I'm a simple lady. I like the Baylor shell with the most colorful patterns on him. I think he's pretty adorable. So this one is, oh no, okay, one more, one more. Oh, I forgot about this guy behind him. I really like the calf moon snail as well because he's got some very, very nice uh, saturated coloration on him for these guys. But, uh, but yeah, everyone, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.